How's it going everybody? It's Gorilla Man here back with another car mechanic simulator video and in today's video guys I think we're gonna be doing a barn find and working on what we get from that I haven't done it yet, so I can't really tell you so we got to go hop right into that But first I was thinking we should probably go ahead and sell the Mazda RX-3 here uh, Our last $10,000 challenge car. So let me show you guys the status of it So it's a 92 body condition just because there's like I think two windows that aren't fully, so that's like one of the biggest issue. But other than that, it's pretty perfect. Uh, it's worth thirty thousand dollars now, and we bought it for eight, I think. So we uh, we profited like twelve grand off of it. Not not too bad. But then we also got this one over here, which was also eight grand. So we'll lose four off of this. We still don't profit that much money off either of these. All right, we'll sell that one. Somebody come pick that up with a tr with like a truck or something because it's got no wheels. All right, next up, the barn find. All right, so we're gonna do barn find, and I hope it's a big one. I probably should have like saved the game before I did this so I could go back into it. Actually, no, that doesn't work. So, never mind, never mind. Let's see what we got. Oh. This is nice a k5 blazer and a charger a challenger i mean not charger challenger oh that is awesome okay well it's been a while since i worked on a challenger here and it's also been a while since i've done a blazer especially one with like this color and ooh, it's it, it might be a, it might be a go we might we might do the blazer here oh sweet we got the case all right, what's the price on this? Thirteen thousand. Ooh. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll do this. Thirteen thousand. To the garage, please, and then this one. Is there anything else over here for us to check? I don't think so. There's only what one, two things to check. Nothing over here. All right. Well, let me check this out. See how it's doing. Oh, uh, yeah, barn finds have mostly intact. 95% frame condition. That's amazing. Wow. That is almost almost perfect. Let's see. So we got orange brakes. Not too bad. Orange, Some orange uh, suspension components. Mostly a red engine is what it looks like. If we got like a couple... Yeah, a couple valves are red there. Carburetor looks like it's red. Yeah, all right, you know, we'll pick it up. It's been it's been quite a long time and what is this engine? This is a V8 overhead valve 6p. I don't think I've ever worked on a 6p before I don't know what model that is, but hey, we'll pick it up. You know what? We'll do it take it So I think we'll probably here. We'll leave this We'll probably start out with the blazer um, I could do both restorations at the same time and just do one car another car one car another car and just do like do both engines and then do both bodies and something like that or both suspensions both tires but I'll probably wait off on that this looks pretty good you know the rust honestly it looks weird it doesn't look terrible but it kind of looks like it belongs there especially with this hood being almost perfect condition except for that interior board right there oof that's pretty rough but hey this thing is pretty cool if you ask me if I could have an old Chevy Blazer k5 with like a good amount of miles on like or like a low amount of miles on the uh, on the motor and have it I know it would be reliable I would totally drive one of these these things would be so cool I'm trying to get a good look at it rear clamshell does that pull off this whole thing it does so we can go topless on this one okay We'll throw that clamshell back on. Does that keep all the windows on? It does. All right. So I think we're going to start out with a little bit of body to this thing. What's the engine in here? It's a V8 single carb. Okay. Yeah, we'll probably start out. I think we're going to start with body on this one, guys. Maybe body and tires. Let me get this one shifted over. Get this bad boy shifted over. This one I'm super impressed with. Except for the different color trunk there, but this one is a 90 and a front fender. What the heck? This one's a 95% frame condition, which means this thing is 
basically brand new um, to the frame. Like if you were going to buy a, like a roller for this and you're going to use this one as like your roller, this would be the best thing because the frame is in perfect condition. You don't have to do anything to it. Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty crazy. That frame is really, really good shape, but all right, let's see. What are we doing on this one? Uh, all right, we'll start with taking off all this stuff. Popping all these out. We'll get it welded up while we got this one down. Interesting gas cap. That is a really interesting gas cap. All right, and this side, anything else? Oh, we got fenders. Take this one off. Yeah. Oh, nope. All right. So. Look at that. We were able to repair almost every single piece. That's incredible, actually. Never, never am I able to do that. All right, let's get the interior detailing kit and let's get our fabricator and our welder over here. So interior, what is, let's see, how, let's see what this does. Oh, uh, just shine everything up per usual. Now this is going to make a big difference here. And bam. You know, the rust kind of gave it character. I won't lie, guys. The rust kind of gave it a little bit of character. Alrighty, now that the body's looking good, I think it's time to put back on all of the components we have. We were actually able to repair almost every single one. I think we might have actually repaired every single one except for windows. Let's see here. 90, 98 windows, pretty good. Let's see, let's see what this one is. 76, okay, yeah. You know what? If I wasn't going for like the full restoration bonus on this guys, I would totally put on that 98 window, but not right now. Not since I'm going for the hundred percent. All right. And then what is left is going to be for us to buy new windows. So this is community car. At first I was like, wait a second. I don't remember, but no, it's uh, community. Um, we're going to do regular windows. This is a nice, it's a nice cruiser. This is not, not going to be a, a race blazer or anything like that. It's our front window. We got these one. There it is. It's blending in. And it has no side windows, I guess. No, like, door, normal windows, because it's just always... Okay. That works. Uh oh. Forgot to pull this taillight out. We repaired one okay let's see there's one let's go buy the second left tail light keeping it classic this is gonna be a restoration all right now that that's done let's move this back to entrance a and we're gonna take a look at the interior and see what see what the seats condition are you know the wheel looks pretty good except for a little bit but so seat 10 leather D, so seat 10, leather D, okay, they want us to do leather D, or I could do, I'm doing leather B, I like the brown seats better, I mean, the car's like an orangey yellow, so I think this will work way better. Let's try wheel three, uh, this one right here. Okay, no, I had that. Wait, what, what mode am I in? What the heck? That was weird. In the, uh, in the body mode, it let me put in interior. That was strange. Yeah, I think those, yeah, the brown seats do, I, I don't know if they look better, but I like them better. So we'll roll with those for now. 90%, uh, oh, we need to get, need to get license plates on. Um, we're going to do some Iowa plates because, you know, I would love to own this. Alrighty. What do we got? What do we got? AN07 or 027 something. All right. Sick. There we go. Uh huh. Let's get the battery out. I'm going to pull the battery out, get the battery charging. Just because I'll just let that charge for the whole time we do this. So let's move this back over here. Now we got the interior done. 
Let's raise this up. We're gonna get all the wheels off. We'll take a look at them and I'm gonna change the rims around because these are just like, I think these are just basic one rims, so. Definitely wanna be getting something nicer on there. Maybe, uh, probably, probably just keep the silver or chrome wheels. I was gonna say maybe maybe black wheels on this, but mm, not if we're trying to do uh, some sort of restoration. Just won't match very well. So 225, 75, 15s. So we need 15s. With 225, 75s. Um, let's see here. Hmm. I do like the GT40 rims, but probably not great to put GT40 rims on this. Let's see. There's not really many. I mean, there's great options. Don't me wrong. There's great options. But I just don't really know what I would want to be looking for. Maybe, maybe one of these. Maybe these. Maybe, yeah. Let's do these. 15s. Fours, 225.75. Standards, uh, 15, 4, 225.75. Big old profile on these tires. All right, let's see how these look. I, I don't think I've ever done the retro Vs with the gray on it. I do like it, though. It's, it's pretty nice. Pull that, install. Yeah, I do think these these are going to look a little bit better. They're a little bit more of that, uh, I don't want to say like off-roady look, but everything nowadays has so many spokes on it, I'm just not even sure. go alrighty and now that I think we got oh wait we forgot to balance these uh oh all right well, I'll get those balancing so as we finished all the body and everything guys I think um, next video we'll probably do everything else I guess I'll do brakes right now just because I can do these pretty quick in between the time it takes to balance all four tires like you see that one just came up right now so all right that's done yeah but we are going to doing a full restoration on this so yeah let's see pull this off and one more okay so what can we repair everything that is fantastic we had really good luck with the body and we had really good luck with the brakes so let's see we need two drums two discs two pads all righty awesome Oh yeah, I do like these. I do like these rims a lot. All right, rears are good to go. Brakes are working. The suspension isn't even in that bad of a uh, shape either, guys, so I'm not too terribly worried about it. If anything, all I would want to change would be probably uh, shocks, springs, like all the whole the whole strut, um, probably sway bar and any bushings, and probably tie rods too. Um, but that's probably all I would really want to change on this. But I mean, since we're doing a full restoration, I will go back through and I'll do all of it. But that'll be next. Alrighty, 
Looking good. Looking spiffy. Look at that. It's already up to $17,000. That's not bad. So we got 140, 100, 100. I'll take it. All right. But in the next video, guys, we're going to be going through redoing this engine here. And then we'll be able to send this guy back on the road, sell it for a good price. Or we might even we might even keep it. But uh, let me know in the comment section down below. If you guys want me to keep this color, the same color, this like mustard color car or truck, technically. Um, let me know if you want me to keep this color. If not, I can change it to something else like a blue or a green or some gray scale. I really I really don't care. We can change it to whatever you guys want. But leave a comment down below letting me know what you guys want to see. Um, without further ado, I will see you all in the next Car Mechanic Simulator video.